that weird something. I don't know. It's like a tingle in the spine I can't shake. Nothing else to do but browbeat this this society of brilliance has quite the reputation. For how long? Walter Davy and academics prefer their work from time to time. Worry about the next one. They talk a great deal, but do very little. Which may be for the best. Worry, don't you? You're not inclined to study the wonders of the underdark. well equipped to protect us. inhabitants and cultures, maybe. It's fungi in cave slime. No, thank you. Wonderful little beast. Nimble as anything. A man of means, judging by his attire. He looks like a merchant or a junior council member. But right now he's without care, entranced by a tree. There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature. Inquisitive and nut crazed. Oh, just tired, I suppose. It's been quite a long day. Or at least I think it has. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? I see. It must have just slipped my mind. These things happen. This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. The man's mind is a stream of fragmented thoughts, each brushed away by another before it can take purchase. Marvelous day. Not a care in the world. Moira would have loved this garden. Wait, who's she? Moira? Yes. No. I don't know. I think I remember a face, smiling, uh, young, then older, then ill, then... No, I don't think so. You must be mistaken, friend. I don't know anyone by that name. Well, I remember I was sad. But in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me, seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in either case. Oh, I see you. Don't think that I don't. Greeting. Welcome. The house of grief lies just within. We are here to help. Welcome, friend. Your burdens are soon to be made as light as a feather. Trust me. The house of grief. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee. 
like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. This is a place of healing. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly, and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. As I said, in due time. First you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. Seems like Will's a grand duke to be. I hope he remembers us little people after he's ascended. You may enter. people here learned how to break their bodies their spirits are quiet in here now but it wasn't always so screams ran off these walls i swear i can almost hear them Disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. I think this was. I remember this place now. A whole stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over.
Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. Mother Superior will deal with you. Don't test me. Back up. No father, or you'll find yourself sporting a new hole in your torso. They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. Pin your eyes to the treacherous Shidrao. Do not focus on the many, many others. Boo will handle them. Always a pleasure to see old acquaintances. But you would be wise to not interfere in this matter. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself, and you squandered it. Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shah, all vying for the same prize. A new god, amassing the disaffected, the outcasts, those who should turn to us. This absolute is but an upstart, disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the absolutists feared. The one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Lady Shah's concerns lie elsewhere, with another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. Shah doesn't care. She was always going to use you and discard you. But now I'm going to deal with you first. You there! Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. As you like. Lilala! For Shah!
good to press on. The witching hour. Good move. Silence, evil! I am Lady Shah's instrument. <laughs> I know your fears, girl. The unknown father, offering an embrace of fang and claw. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Sure enough.
tempest I will raise. on my feet. You point, I punch. Charge, but charge quiet. Lady Shark guides me. Your end is near. This is not so gentle. <laughs> So 
the plot for the Astro Prism was just another game between the gods. Someday, Wu may have to go up there and give them a talking to. Wu is overjoyed with our victory. Another den of evil vanquished, and an old foe defeated. Well, Viconio was a friend for a short time beforehand, but then a foe once more. Yes, Boo, a most wicked witch. The very mention of her name gives him nightmares to this day. Boo and Minsk have traveled far and wide, and met many fine and not so fine people. It will surprise you to learn that even the wisest of friends do not always recognize Boo for what he is. No. A miniature giant space hamster. The Drowl was a cruel witch, but a clever one. She knew what Boo was right away. And she had never seen his like before. She wished to inspect his handsome magnificence. And so she did. One night, while he lay asleep, twitching his whiskers in happy dreams, she crept upon his tiny bedroll holding a knife as slim as a toothpick. She meant to spill his miniature guts and study them. I did not get the chance. Boo never sleeps deeply while evil is near. He sprang into action and almost blinded the witch. She had fled from her camp by morning when Boo told me the whole tale over a breakfast of berries and nuts. Ha! Minsk did not stop her. He did not need to. Boo never sleeps deeply while evil is near. He sprang into action and almost blinded the witch. She had fled from her camp by morning when Boo told me the whole tale over a breakfast of berries and nuts. Finish it. Send me to Lady Shah's embrace. She still has answers I need. My parents. Where are they? So blunt. Have you forgotten all the interrogation techniques I taught you? Where is the finesse? Answer me! They are right through that door in the Chamber of Loss. Where they have been all along. You saw them many times. Only we made you forget. But they didn't forget. They watched as we molded you. They watched. They wept. They bled. Often at your hand. It may not be a happy reunion, but it will be a memorable one. Why? Why me? Why all this effort? Lady Shah commanded me, and I obeyed. I do not question. I merely act as she wills me to. I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this. Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. When, in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. Shah had me do that. And I did. To cover my tracks. To usher in you. What are you talking about? You became my mission. To take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. To show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning, the training, those deaths in Waterdeep. It was all to groom you to replace me at her right-hand side. 
and still you threw it away. I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. What are you doing? Come back and finish this yourself. You owe me that. Let go, mother. Embrace loss. Who thinks you have had every chance to change your ways? Count yourself blessed it is not he who judges you today. I... I'm adept at it. Aluve. Tortured the Gith Yankee to learn about the astral prism. Looks like it went on for days. Can't be another vile trick. No, there is no trick. It's her, Jennifer, Jan, our little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace, it is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. to reach for Saluna. My hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. Victory. Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. Temporary. Inconsequential. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. 
we are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. That dream kept us going, that you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. But the curse... We'll just have to go on like this. Suffering. just to give up at the final hurdle. We're leaving this place together. I'm going to take care of you. Our time has passed, Genevelle. You must not let us burden you. You're no burden. You're my strength. I think I know where my willful side comes from now. But... It... Hush, Arnel. Jen wants her family. Jen shall have her family. How can we help, dear? Out of this place as soon as your strength allows. There's a camp. You'll be safe there.
huge polished disc looms before you, a mirror, but one that offers no reflection. All you see is a void of endless darkness. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before. Many times, perhaps. A mirror of loss. A relic said to be as old as the Church of Shah itself. Those who stood before it could surrender their very thoughts and memories to the Lady of Loss. Great powers rest within the realm of the mirror, to be granted at the Dark Lady's whim to those making a suitable offering, a piece of themselves. in. Give me a night to try and get my head together. You've shown great kindness, allowing my wife and I to remain with you. Thank you. I'm glad Genevelle found you. There must be stories you could tell, but perhaps another time. I'm afraid my strength has not returned just yet. Decades in that place has left me maimed, body and soul. Some rest, perhaps, will make me better company. song at dusk coming here you don't know what it's like to hear music like that again after so long without thank you old i was a young woman when they seized me anel and i hoped jen would be joined by siblings but that dream's gone now and there's a stranger in the mirror. But I still have my teeth. That first apple was worth the wait. Apologies. Even the littlest thing wears me out. I should rest a little. We'll talk soon, Arnell. Oh, I see. Do forgive me. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith, or forgot about it. I wanted to come here to see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know, now that I know who I am. felt what she wanted me to. Now I have to do it for myself and I feel like I'm drowning. So much time's been lost already. Most of it I can't even remember. And what I do remember 
It would have been so much easier to just become a monster. I have my family back. And now I can't even look them in the eye. I don't deserve to be anyone's daughter. That's not true. Not even close. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. Alive? Free? Feeling? I've dreamt for years of seeing you like this. Seeing you as yourself again, Jen. <laughs> it kept us going all this time. I can't be you, Jennifer. Not as you remember her. Of course you can. No. I'd be turning my back on too much. Shadowheart is as much part of who I am as Jennifer. I can't just forget her. <laughs> That's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. I can't cast a shadow without some light. Don't worry. I'm still your daughter. If you want me to be. I'll call you whatever you like. So long as you're happy. Arnel? The Moon Maiden guides and helps us find our true selves. Shadowheart. Daughter.